Today we're going to go over the difference between smokeless powder, which is modern gunpowder, and black powder. In this case, we're going to compare pistol powders. Uh, a common Hodgdon CFE pistol powder and a common Swiss 3FG black powder. We're going to look at what the granules look like, discuss what the differences are, and then at the end take a small scoop full of each, take them outside and light them on fire and see what they look like. Stay tuned. Hopefully we'll all learn something today. Okay, so first thing I did was I took a little 0.5 cc scoop of each powder and put them on this paper towel. On the left, you will see the Hodgdon CFE pistol. On the right, you'll see the Swiss 3FG black powder. You can see on the right here how black powder gets its name. Though it is sort of a dark gray, shiny color. It is definitely much darker and blacker looking than the lighter gray and even more shiny flakes uh, to the left. I'm going to focus in real close on each pile starting with the CFE pistol so that we can get a better look at the granule size and what it really looks like. So I've focused in on the smokeless pistol powder on the left. And I want you to look at the size and shape of the granules and even the color. Okay, you can see it's sort of round, flat little flakes. Um, there's a little bit of gray, a little bit of silver. And what this modern smokeless powder is, is either a cellulose or nitrocellulose based powder it's not made out of the same materials as common black powder or historic black powder and so what happens is when it burns it gives off most of, mostly gas and it's a, a fuel they call it a propellant it's a fuel that burns very efficiently and creates a lot of gas which then propels whatever you're using as a projectile. I mean, even in a cannon, you could use a nitrocellulose-based propellant. Um, I'm not a chemist, and I'm not really qualified to get into all of the way that things are made and all of that. But enough to say, we call it smokeless, even though it gives off smoke. It gives off much less smoke than old-fashioned black powder. And... It also leaves behind a lot less residue because the combustion process burns up most all of the material where combustion process in black powder leaves behind a lot of residue and a lot of material. Now focusing in on the 3FG Swiss black powder, this is old fashioned black powder. Uh, it's made from uh, sulfur, carbon or charcoal, and uh, potassium nitrate. And there's different formulas that you can make. Essentially, they're all the same ingredients. Um, and you end up with a mixture of nitrates and sulfur. And this you can see little tiny dots, little flecks, little specks. What normally happens is this is mixed together wet and then squeezed through tiny little holes in a screen and allowed to dry. And there's different ways that people put the composition through a screen or a sieve to make different sized granules. So this old-fashioned black powder, because of its composition, is actually explosive. It is not the same as the fuel or the propellant 
that we use now in modern smokeless powder in that the modern smokeless powder will burn and it burns much slower really it, when you see it you'll understand than black powder the black powder ignites and blows up it it explodes when you light it it goes boof and there's a giant flash and a giant ball of smoke and fire where when you light the smokeless powder it catches on fire and sizzles and burns up now in an enclosed space inside a barrel inside a case the propellant still forms gas very quickly and pushes out whatever obstruction in our case a bullet is in there and pushes it out through the path of least resistance in a black powder firearm that uses these little nuggets here the explosion does the same thing forms a bunch of gas and pressure and pushes the projectile out the path of least resistance the difference is with black powder it's more explosive there's a lot of smoke and a lot of residue so in the interest of safety I must tell you if you're going to do this don't <laughs> uh, it's kind of dangerous I'm wearing safety glasses the camera is probably five feet away this first one we're going to do is the smokeless powder and you'll see this is really not explosive it just sort of burns up catches on fire and of course that paper was underneath it that's the same paper that I had under it when I showed you in the shop what the smokeless powder looked like next up I'll wipe this off and I'll bring out the black powder and we'll see what that does okay now I've got the black powder from earlier on the little paper towel this I gotta be a little more careful when I light because it will blow up it's not gonna cause a giant explosion but I don't want to get flash burned and I also don't want to wreck my camera so let's see what this does when it gets hit with the match there you go <laughs> so there's a slight difference there huh woof beautiful and I'm gonna try and get it on camera but there is a beautiful smoke ring going up through the sky right now <laughs> that's just beautiful oh, I love it I love black powder <laughs> When I was a kid, my dad had a friend that was a Navy SEAL who would go out to sea and then come back and they'd sit outside telling stories. And he was a black powder rifle shooter and we used to play with that stuff and do all kinds of dangerous things that I'm sure are illegal now. But this was back in the 70s and early 80s. Pretty cool how that smoke ring is just floating around and floating around and floating around that's really cool so as you can see there's quite a bit of difference between the way black powder explodes and ignites and the way smokeless powder ex explodes and ignites it doesn't explode it burns so the smokeless powder burned up right in front of us and this just went woof and and blew up um, so they react differently they're made completely differently and these two powders are as close as I can really get uh, as a comparison between black powder and modern smokeless powder they're both pistol powders and that's the best I can do well that's it for my comparison of modern smokeless pistol powder and black powder pistol powder I hope you guys enjoyed the ride thank you for watching I know I had fun doing it and making it and I really wanted to just light them on fire and see what the difference was in real life and I think it was pretty cool thanks a lot for your time have a great day